Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Civil Engineering updates. Today our lecture is about the side face or the skin reinforcement. This is the special type of reinforcement used in the beam and uh, these are used when the depth of the beam exceeds the certain limit. So uh, we use the side face or the skin reinforcement as per the recommendation of the codes, engine codes and the American codes. So there are two codes uh they tells up uh, tells us about the uh, use of these two reinforcement when this consider this the beam and when this depth of the beam for example this is a beam and we design this beam uh as per the codes and its depth is too much and we design the reinforcement bars here uh almost for example taking the six bars number eight bars right number eight bars and six bars so, when the depth of this bar, when the depth of this beam exceeds the limit of, uh, when the height, a uh, depth of beam exceeds the 750 mm, 750 millimeter, according to the uh, IS, according to the IS 456 2000. So what we do, we place the another type of reinforcement. These are the hooks at the top of the beam. So when the depth of the beam exceeds the 750 mm or equal to the 750 mm, uh, so we place the uh, reinforcement, we call this type of reinforcement is the side face or skin reinforcement. We call it the side face because they are used at the sides of the beam. So we place the reinforcement here at the sides like this type and we call this type of reinforcement as the side face reinforcement because they are used at the sides of the beam or skin reinforcement. Why they are used, I will discuss it uh, later on, but I will explain first what is the American uh, standards. American tells us about the, that when the effective depth of this beam, because this is the effective depth of the beam, D. When this D is equal to the 36 inches or greater than the 36 inches, so what we do, we place the reinforcement, this type of reinforcement is called the side face or the skin reinforcement. So there are two codes. One is the ACI recommendations, American Concrete Institute. They tells us about the effective depth. This is effective depth between the uh, top bars and the bottom bars. When this D exceeds the 36 inches, we place the reinforcement. We call this the side face or the skin reinforcement. But in case of the engine standards, when the depth of the beam increases the 750 mm, so we place the reinforcement. We call the side face or the skin reinforcement. Now, why we use this type of reinforcement, I will explain it now by considering the strain diagrams. Because this reinforcement we place due to the uh, lateral, uh, due to the strain, tensile strain diagram. Here, consider this is a beam. Consider this is any shallow type of beam, right? Not a deep beam. These are used when the beam is deep beam. Consider this is a shallow type of beam and and the tensile strain diagram is like this, is like that. There is a neutral axis, while there is a compressor strain, and here we have tensile strain. So in this case, the tensile strain is very less as we see as compared to the, from the neutral axis, this depth. The tensile strain is very less and uh, it will not exceed the limit as per the uh, codes I think uh, the uh, tensile strain is 0 0.001 in case of the concrete beams. So it does not yield the capacity, strain capacity, so it's okay to use uh, the only this reinforcement. But when we are using the deep beams, but when we are using the deep beams, when the depth of these beams exceeds the limits which I discussed earlier on, for example, the depth of this beam is now more than the 7, uh, 50 mm, it's 800 mm the depth of this beam. So now the strain diagram of this beam will be like this one. The strain will be diagram will be now. It will have more strain. So it has the more strain now in this condition at this at these points. The tensile strain is now more. And also the strain at these points is very less as we check out so there was no need of side face or skin reinforcement in case of the shallow beam. But this is the deep beam. In deep beams, the strain here at this section, at the side face here, there is more strain. 
here for example here we see there is a more strain so what we do we want to not exceed the tensile strain capacity here at the beam at the side face of the beams so that's why we place the, we place the reinforcement here at the side of the beam so that the strain is so the strain the, the tensile strain uh, should not be uh, exceed the limit which we should uh, we should we should be really care of that so that's why we place the reinforcement so the crack should not be uh, occur at these points at the uh, at this mid of the beam or the from the sides of the beams and there's a mid portion and so the, when the strain here is occurring so we place the reinforcement below the mid so to avoid the cracks in the beam cracks so that's why we place the side reinforcement and this is very important to know uh, the uh, side reinforcement and the how much side reinforcement we should provide and we should provide the limit of the side reinforcement as per the course is uh, that we should must use the 0.1 percent uh, area of the uh, gross area of the beam and we should must use this type of uh, this amount of reinfo uh, reinforcement is the skin reinforcement and the beams when it exceeds the limit as I discussed with you people earlier. This was all about the today topic and subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates. Thank you for watching our video.